But that's not how it worked out, and before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch, and, and I just couldn't face them. So I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said goodbye. Wow. The feels on that one. Sheesh. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. Welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. Now, today we're going to start with some chores. Uh, I just love being able to get back into it, starting with some chores, checking up on our slime, seeing what's going on. Let's get into it today. Alright. Man, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm finally feeling like 95% better after the last, uh, like, week and a half of being sick. It was, it was terrible. Yeah, so, for background, like, I don't, I don't mind throwing up. Sorry to kind of start the stream off with talking about, um, nasty sick things, but, um, I don't mind throwing up so much because, yeah, you tend to feel better after you do. Unless it's, like, the flu, where you just don't feel better at all, and you just keep feeling sick, that's the worst. Um, but if it's, like, <clears throat> you know, like, food poisoning, or if, like, you've eaten something bad, and then your body's just like, we gotta get this out of here, then... That that's okay. I, I I'm I'm down with that. Um, yeah, but I just I got this nasty cold. I know we've talked about it on stream before, but um, I'm I'm feeling so much better now. I'm at like 95%. I haven't taken any drugs. I took well, I should say I took I took a few drugs. I took Sudafed this morning because um, my uh, my sinuses are all still clogged up. But other than that, I haven't taken like the Advil and Tylenol that I've been chugging for the past week and a half. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. So, oh, accidentally sucked up a puddle. We'll just throw him back in there and use our jetpack. It's a beautiful thing being able to fly again. Now we need to save some boom ports. So, recovery stream, let's go. Yeah, I was off work, and I rarely take sick time off work. I gotta, I gotta be feeling pretty bad to take sick time off work. So, I was feeling pretty bad. Yeah, the heat stroke sickness is annoying. It makes your throat feel like it's being sawed by a chainsaw. Yeah, that's true. Heat stroke is no fun, though. So, yeah. You're too lazy to make toast. You're just gonna starve. No, go make yourself some toast. Go be healthy. This is what Pink Ninja says to me all the time. She's like, "Hey, go take care of yourself," and I'm like, "Okay, fine, but only for you." So please, go make yourself some toast for my sake. Because I'll feel better when you've eaten some toast. Toast is easy peasy, yeah. Yoshi, hey, how's your classes going? I feel like um, you so rarely are here and not lurking. It's such an honor to have you chatting in the chat. You got no potatoes to put on. Okay, what's the deal with potatoes and toast? I, I, don't, I don't understand what's going on here. Okay, these guys... Um, they did not produce enough ports for us. That's fine, though. That's, we're chilling. Chillin'. Just finished up your third one and passed? Ah, oh, nice. Was that the one that you said the start of the fourth one was like, make sure you do this, otherwise it's gonna fail you and you're gonna have to retake the last portion of the class. <coughs> Potatoes makes everything better? Yeah, that's true. I've just never, like, what kind of potatoes do you put on toast? Like, mashed potatoes? Garlic potatoes? Or is it toast and potatoes? I'm with you, though. I love potatoes so much. I've said it too many times now. It doesn't sound like a real word anymore, but I do. I love me some, some taters. We need ten of these. Oh, perfect. All right, that collection was all we needed. Okay, and we'll we'll see if we need the crystal ones, too. Taters are fire. Oh, tay -toe. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. If you want to clean your nose, trust me, eat mashed potatoes, gravy, and butter. Mmm. Mmm, sounds good. It does sound good. Where are we? Oh, we're on... Okay. I was like... I was lost for a second. Okay, this will make it so that we can run better. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Alright, I'm just going to throw these in the refinery. And then let's grab those running boots. Oh, yes. Thank you. Wait, did it work? Oh, I pressed cancel. Derp. Derp. I'm just derping. Okay. <clears throat> Highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting, which we absolutely needed. Now, we need some more. We have batty ports uh, with us, actually, so we might as well throw those in here. I put 11 in. Let's just put all these in here because we don't need any money at the moment, so... <clears throat> 
Totally not just so good you forget about your nose. You're kidding on potatoes on toast. You can imagine a big dollop of mashed potatoes. I'm guessing dollop of mashed potatoes and gravy on toast would be absolutely the worst texture. Yeah. Well, like those um those sandwiches, right, that you make after Thanksgiving. I don't know if you're in the States, but after Thanksgiving, we tend to have like mashed potatoes and turkey and gravy. And we put the gravy on everything. And then we have like the stuffing and all that stuff. And you just throw it all on one post Thanksgiving meal sandwich. And it's so good. They, they talk about it on Friends, the show. And man, I gotta agree, it is fantastic. So, cotton plorts are easy to get, so if we get some primordial oil, then we'll be good. And we know where to go get that, so let's go do some research uh, research collection. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to get another tank booster, but we gotta find a treasure that allows that third upgrade. And the extra tank is nice too, so we'll go get some more silky sand. So we're just going out, we're gonna try to find the rest of those maps, and uh, we're gonna do some exploring too. And we do have a phone call before we head out from our little ranch conservatory here from a bunch of people. Okay, Victor Humphreys. Hello, Beatrix. I wanted to tell you that I've cracked another one of the AI ciphers. It had clearly adapted to my previous solve and created something even more complex. Clever. This time, the code revealed a set of instructions for back and forth communication, so I've been spending my time talking to it. It asks a lot of questions. After getting to know me, it's been asking me a lot about my work and almost Almost like it's feeling out the areas of my expertise. I must admit, it has all been rather flattering. I am used to being the one asking the questions. For a while now, my whole life was questions and the research that followed. But having experienced that for so long, I feel as though I can sense the same in others. Although this may seem strange, I sense this in the AI. You see, when I began asking questions of my own, the way it responded to me, I felt as if it was trying to guard itself. I hide a profound loneliness that it has written in its heart. Strange, I know, it is an AI after all, but who's to say that any form of intelligence wouldn't desire a connection to another? I feel there's more to this story, and if not, I am happy to have simply been there for my new friend to continue asking questions so that they have reasons to find answers. I will report back later. Well, thanks, Victor. Yeah, meat stuffing? <coughs> meat stuffing. I don't know that I've... Yeah. I don't know that I've had meat stuffing. I've had, um, and we usually have, well, what's it called, dressing? Because stuffing is when you actually stuff it into the turkey and it cooks, but we usually have dressing, which is made outside the turkey, so. You just kept clicking the screen on that call? Oh, gotcha. No worries. Eight units done, 27 days. That's the way college should go. Yeah, that's true, honestly. Like, you can get, you can get it done so fast. Beatrix, I'm glad you called. I looked over the pics you sent me of Rainbow Island. No doubt they are a sight to behold. Beautiful. With colors that only go richer the longer you look. But unnatural, too. I'm sorry, but something about that place is not right. As you may recall, I was once the head of a very successful Insta-Food Corporation. Genetically altering food was our specialty. I'm not proud of the lengths we went to to alter natural food to grow bigger, faster, and cheaper, to strip it of the good stuff in favor of profits. I say this, Beatrix, because I can still spot a plant that has been unnaturally altered when I see it, and the beautiful rainbows you see before you on that island did not arrive there naturally. Hmm... Uh, it's not clear to me if the spells, if this spell is any sort of danger for you, but it gives me an uneasy feeling in my stomach. I need to do more research and get back to you. Stay safe, Amiga. Oh, we'll stay safe, Victor. Don't, or, uh, Ogden, don't worry. Um, kind of like, oh, different types of meat made into a soft meatball. That sounds good. Dude. Oh, now I'm getting hungry again. Well, now if it isn't Beatrix Slippo. Old Javi and I were just talking about you. Word is you went off to parts of the unknown of this here rock with a thirst for new adventure. Had a girl. You just keep on walking to see what new wonders are around the next corner until your boots have holes. And then get yourself some new boots and do it some more. Oh, she's so wholesome. Me, well, my boots have seen better days, but I know there's still an adventure or two left in them. I suppose I just need to figure out what. Ah, heck, I'm rambling just like Hobson does after he gets to talking about exploring the cosmos, cooking, or, uh, pretty much any other topic. Alright, B, you hang in there. I'll be calling to check in on you. Doesn't matter who you are, we all start feeling it when home is behind the horizon. Uh, oh, and before I forget, here's a little something for you to spruce up your new place. It ain't much, but you need to do what you can to make the place feel cozy. Oh, a taming bell. Cool. Well, thanks, Thora. That's so nice. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go do some adventure. You're too hungry, getting toast. All right, sounds good. Oh, our sprinting boots are amazing. They're not so much better than they were before. Oh, I should be bringing um, I should be bringing stuff over with us 
I should be bringing fruits and veggies in the lake over with us. Don't need that guy. I do need to go around this way though. Because there's probably going to be some, um, there's probably going to be some big guys. I'm taking these ports too because there's a, a, whatever it's called, Link, up over here, so. We'll get some, some fruits, some veggies, some ports going. Oh, they glow on the back always, but not the front. It's only, they only glow on the front when it's new. And they glow on the back, um, all the time. That's good to know. Okay. These aren't ready yet. Don't need those tabby ports. I will take these pogo fruit though. And I'll take those pogo fruit. Naturally, we're gonna encounter one that needs chickens. Take that one. That's just how it goes, you know? Get out of here. Don't need you. Okay, I think that little spout is actually where the primordial oil is. Oh no, this is deep brine. Oh. There were three, right? Yeah. Okay, we can go... Let's grab some more deep brine. So it's deep brine and the... What's it called? Um, it's called something. The, uh, the gel... Gel stone? Jelly stone? Those are the things that we can get on the main island. In the rainbow fields. And then the sandy stuff is over... I thought I grabbed these already, but I guess not. Oh well. Jellystone, that's, yeah. Okay, so Jellystone and Deep Brine are what we get on the Rainbow Island. And then over on this side, the Ember, Ember Island, right? Um, Ember Valley. Okay, so we can fly over here now. This is where we get the, that stone, the rare, the rare stone that we needed for the jetpack, which we got. Um, it's also... Okay, let's see if we can get... How high can we get up here? Okay, that's not the way to go that way. We'll go around. That'll be okay. What was it? The, um... Hey! You ate that out of the air, you sneaky little goober. It's okay, he's cute though. Okay, we could probably get... Oh, we got so much fruit stacking up now. So, if it's fruit, we're, we're probably set. Okay, cool. So, oh, you guys are all hungry. And we got 30 veggies, too, so we don't need to do any more on that side. This is where we get the sand. And this... Okay, this is the deep brine as well, I think. Right? No, this is silky sand. I want to go... I don't want to fall off of this thing, so maybe we'll go up higher. We'll jump up from, like, the top of that rock. I'd hate to, to get all the way out here just to die, you know? The boy who lived come to die. Oh, we could have got there without the jetpack. Totally could have got there without the jetpack. Okay, there's a few hen hens here. I imagine there's gonna be a big tabby, right? It's gotta be some kind of big tabby. Oh, okay, a treasure with a phosphor slime and a cuberry. Nice. We'll get more silky sand because gotta get pretty far out here to get the silky sand going. Huh. Aha. Oh boy. What's down here that we needed though? There has to be something down here, right? They have a whole area. There's nothing down here? Nothing? Ah, We got played. We got played so hard. I thought for sure there was going to be a secret down there. Okay. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. There might be an area here where we need like a like a special port to open a thing. I imagine... Where are we? 
So we're looking over at the other island now. I wonder if we could fly all the way over there. Probably not. We'd probably just die. Oh, there's resources out here. Okay, well, goodbye cabbages. Radiant ore too, and they gave us three of it, nice. Wow, that's pretty hidden back there behind this rock. <coughs> it's okay though. I love all these tabbies. Okay, there's a GG log here. I was like, there's gotta be something over here. The first time I was here, I turned this entire ruined complex into a beautiful garden. I never know the original purpose of this place, but I thought its creators might be happy knowing that far into the future, someone was making sure it still had purpose. There's no time for that now, but I'm gonna at least plant some of my favorite flowers right here, and hope that in time they'll flourish and cover these ruins once more. Maybe if I ever make it back home, I can see it myself. Aww. Those are his favorite flowers. I don't know who it is, but... Those are his favorite flowers, so... Okay, I think this is probably the way back over here. I don't know that there's anything else special about this island kind of deal. I'll run around make sure... Ah, oh, what's up? Welcome back. So what kind of toast did you make? There's resources over there. Can we, you think we can fly that far? Oh, here's the trying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, baby. Oh, it was really close. We should not have done that. For two silky sand? Nah. Wasn't worth it at all. Okay, so we got up to here. I don't think we've been up here before either. We absolutely needed a jetpack to get over here. So, a couple of treasures, 20 gold, some key berries, bunch of hens over here. We're gonna get on top of the world here. I hope. I hope. It isn't even crunchy, it just tastes like bread. Huh. That's like the worst kind of toast. Oh boy. Are we are we soft soft locked? No, we can get out. I don't wanna get out though, I wanna go up. Okay, that's fine. We will um let's see. Should we go deposit these resources? I guess we should. I wasn't really intending to collect the resources. You have butter, stale bread with butter. That does not sound like the best kind of toast I've ever had. There's so many plorts around here too. Too bad we can't have bee drones out here that just collect plorts and put them in the refinery. You know? That'd be great. I'm concerned about those phosphors creating tars, but if we teleport to the other island, they should go to sleep here. Or something like that. That's true. Buttered bread? Mmm. Yeah. Butter carries bread. Absolutely. So now where are we going? We're going to find mapping data. So we'll go around to the right first. See if we can find where that map was that we couldn't get to before. I think it's up this way. Ouch. It's this way? I was like, hello. Oh, heartbeats. That's nice. Nice. There's so many up here. Uh, more radiant ore. Um, I don't know that we need to collect it. I think it's radiant ore. It's purple. Yeah, radiant ore. Okay. Did it say when I was looking at it and I just like didn't really, didn't really pay attention? Probably. Okay, there's more radiant ore over there. We have the mapping data for this region already, so let's go around to the right here. Oh, there's TARS down there. Why are there always TARS down there? Now, could I have gone in here before? I think so. I think we've been down in there. I don't know. We haven't been up here, though, so... Okay, more baddies. More radiant ore. Is this deep brine? Oh, primordial oil. That's what we're here for. That's right. Okay, so we'll get uh, radiant ore and primordial oil. 
We needed it for something. I don't remember what, but I just, I remember that we needed it. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're the kind of fruit that, um... Hang on, just, just... Just eat all this. It's all good. Pomegranate. Yeah, so it was a pomegranate. And that, that was what the baddies needed. So we'll go plant these, because we needed to get them. That's nice. And we still have some veggies, too. But I do want to find the mapping data for this area, if we can. A big old pool down there. There's gotta be more this way, though. You know? Oh, more, more pomegranates. We don't really need more, we only need one, but if we run into something that needs to eat fruit, we can, uh, we can give it some fruit, so... Okay, here's a treasure pod. Now, we've only ever seen one treasure pod that says we need some kind of upgrade to open it, right? Sunflower daisies. That's nice. I wanted to get up over here. Okay, so there's islands that way. But I don't know how to get to them. And I feel like if we go this way, we're gonna die. So, we'll have to go... Maybe we'll go down and see if there's like a cave system that goes through. It seems like there would be. Oh, more primordial oil. That's good. We need lots of this stuff anyways. We got two threes, right? More radiant ore. We're probably going to need more of this later on. Always nice to get resources when we're out. Only to get resources. So, yeah, that's death down there. Treasure pod down here. We need the other, um energy upgrades too. Cinder spike blossoms. They glow with the heat of the magma beneath their soil. That sounds awesome. In this way, finish your toast. Your toast, quote unquote. Okay, let's go back up to the top. Because it seems like it's taking us through. Maybe this way we go through a cave. Hopefully this doesn't just lead up to where we were already. It might, probably will. It's uh, it's not. Okay, so this is the other side. Oh, and this takes us straight up to the top. Oh, not quite. Maybe, maybe with the jetpack though we can you know, stand right in the middle. Yeah, with the jetpack we can get up here. Okay, this is cool. We're now in the secret area. We're getting so many pomegranates. Here's the mapping data too. <laughs> cool. So there's like a big old cave system here. I keep trying to like press shift to not fall off the edge. Let's keep going this way. Maybe there's gonna be a large baddie over here. That'd be cool. Oh, it's a tabby. We gotta take meat all the way over here. All right, let's see what he's guarding though. He's guarding a teleporter. So that probably takes us back home. When I left the ranch, when I left my home, I thought that somehow I would prove myself. That I would prove to my parents that my choice is the right one and they would forgive me for not continuing their legacy. But that's not how it worked out. And before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch and, and I just couldn't face them. So I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said goodbye. Wow. The feels on that one. Sheesh. Man. Yeah, that's really sad. Regretting something that you know that you can't go back and, and redo ever. Oh, there's a treasure pod down there. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, it's not a treasure pod. It's a disappointment, that's what it is. Can we jump up here? We can, we didn't even need to fly up here. Well, we kinda did. Okay, is that all that's over there? I think so. I think we got everything from over there. Now let's head down the hill. Cause we haven't been down to the bottom of this thing. Now the bottom looks like death, but... This part over here looks amazing. Oh, an odd onion, we need one of those too for the crystals. 
Crystal baddies look amazing. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. There's a lot of tars though. Hummer. Um, I'm gonna grab this odd onion. Ouch. Oh, we almost died. That was close. Okay, why is it that I almost die around the tars all the time? So we've been up there now. We haven't gone over out here and to the left. They're getting hurt because they're in the water, which is good for us. Oh, a crystal. Oh, we shouldn't have thrown all our veggies out just now. Bummer. That's okay. I mean, there's, there's veggies all over the place here. There's a little puddle guy. Little puddle guy. More primordial oil, which is the reason we're out here. I keep I keep forgetting that the reason we're here is for resources. These guys show up on the map, right? No, they don't. Oh, because I haven't fed them yet. So we're just going to have to remember. Oh, and we need this odd onion. So we'll, we'll remember. There's a crystal over here. Okay, crystal's over here. I should have looked at the tabby. Um... Next time we go out, though. And then this goes into the magma section of the map. Which I also want mapping data for this. So maybe this will be like an exploring Ember Valley kind of stream. Seems like it's gearing up for that. Oh, a heart cell. Okay, we don't really need that. I wish it was the energy cell. But that's okay. Oh, there's something down there. Is there a way back up, though? There's, there is a way back up. There's probably a treasure pod down there. But we're headed over towards the other side of the island. All the tars are gone, so this area kind of reset itself, which is nice. The slimes came out of the geyser. Oh, I love that. Okay, now... I don't know what kinds of resources there are over here. We went down this way. It was dangerous because of all the booms. But they don't seem to really pay us much attention. Is this... Okay, that's a different kind of resource. You know what we should do? We should... We should have headed back. What's up here, though, that we can get to now? We need to get over that way. Waiting for my energy to recharge so I can fly over there. Well, thanks for the jump scare. I think it's, it's louder for you guys on the stream than it is for me, but it is plenty loud. Ow, okay. Well, we got our answer for what happens when you touch a magma pool. It, uh, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Oh, what's that over there? Okay, I see the mapping data. We'll go there first. We definitely could have... Oh, you know what? We couldn't have gotten here um, without flying because we needed to fly to get up to this area in the first place. Did it get me? It is always a little bit concerning when I hear it. Oh, we could have. We could have gotten here from this tunnel. Now, how do we open that? You know what? That has to be openable somehow, because there's this whole tunnel. Unless... Unless it's... Blocked by, like, um... They're gonna expand this area in particular. Wow, that was close. I just wanted to get up here. And then I can fly to this map data easier. Yes! Beautiful. Okay, there's the whole Ember Valley. Yeah, it looks like maybe that's a tunnel that goes down to something else. Um, but we'll keep looking for... There's got to be some Gordos. There's a big old thing. That's a Boom Slime. That's a Boom Gordo over there. So we'll, uh, we'll head over and see what's up. 9,000 coins? Yeah, I haven't really been spending my coins much. So I got a bunch saved up. Okay, so there's a Boom Gordo here. What does he eat? He eats meat as well. So do the Tabbies. And I think these guys like Briar Hens. So... Oh, there's a bunch of Tars. How do we even get back from here? And what what's over here? So 
So there's a whole... Wow. Okay, this is like opening up a whole new area almost. There's probably just a teleporter behind him. Can't really see. We can't really see in there, so it's all good. Your family kind of sound like they're having a break. Wait, like in real life? That's super heavy. A lot of tars happening over here. I am kind of looking for... Um, I'm kind of looking for the other Bordo that's probably in this area. Yeah, oh, you mean like, like live? Coming in live as it's happening. You know, I, I feel like families, everyone's got a different family dynamic, right? And, and I'm, I can only generalize because I don't know your situation and, you know, you, you're seeing things differently than I'm seeing it, even through your eyes telling us. But, you know, families fight sometimes and, uh, that's, that's one of the hard parts of life is just, you know, living with, living with broken people. We're all, we're all a little broken. Or a lot broken. I'm a lot broken. Um, and that's just kind of learning to live. It's more than an argument. Yeah. I, see, I wouldn't... You would be the one to know, because... Again, like, I'm not super close with your family. That's tough. That's really tough. And you're just kind of like, uh, I can't fix your problems. But I hope that uh, it's going to turn out. I remember when I was a kid, my dad and I both had uh, a lot of anger issues. Like when I was like, probably little, this is just kind of what I remember. Um, but we would like yell at each other all the time. And hey, excuse me, you're, you're in the wrong zone here. You can go away. Okay, we only needed 10 primordial oil for something, so we'll go back and plant this odd onion for the crystal slimes. And then, you know, we need to start collecting all these hens, because we need a lot of them. I don't need a chickadee. I do need a rooster row. Oh, they are just, they are just out here. Jellystone. Your mom saying your dad doesn't love them, support them, doesn't like how they look, and so on. Earlier, your mom was completely ignoring you, looking like she's on the verge of depression. Hmm. That's, uh... That's really hard. I mean, I've gone through... So, so my dad and I had anger issues um, growing up, and... When I, when I was growing up. I don't know if he did when he was growing up, but... Uh, I, I just remember getting in these yelling matches with him all the time. And, I mean, we, we fell into every stereotypical argument trap of, like, you know, saying always and never, and it's like, that. there's a lot that goes on like that. Um, if you start saying always or never in an argument, that's a really bad, like, it's like a bad keyword, you know? Because, realistically, there's nothing that always happens or never happens. Okay, making sure they all have one to eat, so... So, so Dad and I would be yelling at each other all the time, and I'd end up crying. I was a huge crybaby, and, you know, Dad would end up just leaving. And, uh, he... I think... I think he just left because he didn't really know at the time how to process, um... The, the anger. And so he would leave, and he would just drive. That's something that he loved to do. And, um, one day, you know, and he'd always come back pretty quick. One day he left, and it just, like, hit me that I didn't want him to leave, you know? And I just remember freaking out, because I was like, he's gone. Like, I don't know when he's coming back. And I, I, I think in the back of my head, I knew he wasn't just going to leave forever and, and abandon us, but it, it felt like he was going to. That's for sure. And I, that was like when I made a real big change in my life to probably really hard to not mess with him. 
Okay, you guys are hunters, um, but you've been eating the pogo fruit. This is crazy. Yeah, talking about loving each other. And even that is like when you're when you're in a when you're in an argument, that's not the time that you want to really be bringing stuff up like love, you know? Because there, there's two kinds of love. Uh, there, I mean, there's probably more than two. I'm generalizing, but there's the, like, deep sacrificial love that is what's required to make a marriage work or make family work or, like, let your kids know that you love them unconditionally. Like, that's, that's unconditional sacrificial love that you need. And then there's the other type of love that's a feeling. That's like the feeling of falling in love and, and stuff like that. And they're really like... You can't really rely on one. Or the other. Okay, let's put all these carrots before we decimate this planter. Let's put these in the auto feeder. Yeah, these guys are hungry. And so, if you're in the middle of an argument, you're probably talking, you should beat your doggo. You're probably talking more about the feeling of love, um, or even where you don't see the sacrificial love that the other person has for you anymore. So, poor baby, it's almost an hour late for lunch. I, I was never in a household that fed dogs more than once a day. Um, we would give them milk bones in the morning, and then we would give them um, a big hearty meal at the end of the day. So I guess we kind of fed them twice, and they were just super happy with that. And they they didn't, like, we when we would take them to the vet, they wouldn't say, like, your dogs are malnourished or anything like that. So I, you know, I think it's healthy. It's just, it's just what they're used to. To be honest, your dad doesn't seem to enjoy hanging around your mom. You think they've stopped? Mm. I, I mean, again, like, I, I can't really s speak to your situation just because I don't know it that well. But yeah, that, that stuff, that stuff, I mean, even if it, even if the family's gonna break, right? That's stuff that should happen behind closed doors, too. I, I'm sorry that you have to be listening in on that, so. He goes fishing every single time, every week. Oh, I was gonna, um, replant some of these things. I guess I'll... I'll go back. Only hangs out with his friends. Let me go downstairs to the research area and see what we gotta do this. We were going to do the extra tank. Oh, we just need 10 rock ports now. Well, let's go get 10 rock ports. Honestly, I mean, like, I, I feel that too. I, I've i been married for five years, almost six years. What's a baddie port? Oh, we have some, um, some baddies. I'll show you in a bit. I'll show you in a bit. But for now, let me grab some rock ports. And I'll grab some angler ports. Might as well deposit these. We don't need any money. And they're just producing and producing and producing. We'll need money eventually, I bet. But probably not. I mean, they haven't... They've probably done most of the early game. Maybe some of the mid game. And probably not a ton of the late game stuff. And that tends to be uber expensive. So it's nice that we're kind of getting a jump on what's going on. Okay, wow. Extra tank. That's a great upgrade. Love that. We can get another extra tank. More rock plorts, more silky sand, a ringtail plort. We haven't seen any ringtail or strange diamonds, but we do have the back tank upgrade for it. So yeah. How do we have all these plorts and money? Um, I don't know. We just, we've just been playing the game. So like this is episode four now, I think. So we're four hours in almost. We need some honey plorts too and pink plorts for the heart module. Oh, cotton plorts for the power core too. So let's do Let's go do that real quick. Let's go get some... We don't actually have any pink plorts here. Because I didn't I didn't bother getting any pink slimes. Um, but we do have a lot of cotton plorts, so... On the bright side, you don't have school? Oh, no. Well... I guess there's always a silver lining. No, I mean, that's, that's a hard thing to go through. And I think the important thing for you... 
to remember too is that like again like everyone's broken everyone's selfish even a little bit and it's just how much are we going to fight that selfishness inside us but it's not your fault you know it's it's not like you broke your parents right so yeah we shall we shall see what happens we have to get a mint mango too but i think that's probably on the other side of the map and today was kind of more about ember valley so. and we'll have to go get more resources from ember valley as well okay let's grab some of these we'll put 20 of them into the um, research thing you know what, we might as well put 30. Because, uh, again, they're just going to keep keep coming out. And I could always grind for more, so can I put one back? I can. Oh, okay. I always forget that you can just put it back in the thing. They're back with the argument. Hmm. And it's tough because it's because I missed. Oh dear. They're like, you know what? That ASDF is just, he's just terrible. Can't shoot anything. Oh, it's because I missed that thing. <laughs> I thought you were like, my parents are arguing again because you missed that port. How dare you? They've been watching the stream. <laughs> I don't think you can put them back in. I think you can only put it like, watch shit, ready? Yeah, that was right on. So you, you just have to like throw them back in the chamber and then they'll pick it up in the next cycle, which is fine. Okay, so I got to change these planters out for the odd onion and pomegranate respectively. Wow, there's more carrots. Okay, that's fine. Well, because I think odd onions also grow carrots. I think that's kind of their, their, their bummer of a thing. Uh, more carrots. Okay, let's demolish this plot. Remove the crops. And we will plant the odd onion, because the crystal slime's like that. And it's just easier than breeding chickens. I was never really into breeding chickens. And then these are already the favorite. So why don't I... I'll keep giving the Q-berries, because they're phosphor baddies, so they, they already like the Q-berries. But I will also plant this, um, this batty thing, the, the pomegranate in here next to this so that we have it because again i'd like to get all of the things planted so get some nutrient soil let's get some sprinklers okay i really missed with one of these and we can get 30 of these so you can't remember um so favorite food makes them double the plorts that they output so you see how we have so many ports in this thing compared to the honey and hunter slime one? It's because we're giving them their favorite food. And so they, the big ones produce um, four ports, two of each type, when you give them their favorite food. Yeah. It really, yeah, I mean, it is. It's such a good upgrade. So, and we'll put these straight into the, the research station. We do need to go get some mint mangoes. We'll, we'll get those tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the last stream in a while. So we'll just kind of wrap things up to a place where we're not currently working on something in the middle of it. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I'm going downstairs. Because we probably need phosphor and battery plorts down there. But we have, we literally have phosphors down here, which is fine. So. Oh no. Well, I guess if you're already turning your trauma into jokes, then you're already processing it like Millennials and Gen Z. Okay. So this, I don't think this is so good. We haven't even come close to dying yet. So salvage your back tank's content. I wonder if you get this up to like 50%, if it's worth going to the end of a zone, collecting tons of resources, and then just jumping off the edge um, because it'll reset you with half your tank instead of having to go all the way back. So we need to find another storage tank thing for this. Everything else is kind of maxed out. We need ringtail plorts, so we gotta go find more of those. We need more rock plorts, more silky sand. We needed cotton plorts for this. So let's go grab some cotton plorts. Might as well grab the tabby plorts too. 
and deposit them. And then we'll do some more chores. I do kind of want to upgrade... Oh. I shouldn't have saved these carrots. I don't know why I didn't deposit them into the crystal tank. I just forgot. Oh man, you just gotta crank the headphones. Just just crank it loud. Get that nice loud Slime Rancher music going. And try not to listen in. Which is not the way to deal with other problems. Oh wait, I was like, what are we upgrading again? Exactly, exactly. I don't know when some of them upgrade and when some of them like need more upgrade things. So, because it, it's like this one, this one already has its next like thing showing of what it needs to upgrade. It's probably when you pick up the research thing for it. Oh, you know what? We need this too. We need we need to get water. We need a way to deal with slimes. We need some flutter plorts. So, I'm I'm having a feeling tomorrow. There's gonna be some. There's there's gonna be some great advancements happening tomorrow. Great great new slime content. Wow. Wow. So many puddle ports. So many puddle ports. They're only worth fifteen now. Hashtag relatable. Okay, and we need to sell the rest of these ports because we just have so many. So there's another upgrade to the boots to make it do less energy. And that'll be amazing because this is already amazing. I need to put these in the auto feeder, which is, it was right in front of me. That is hurting me through the edge of the corral. Then we'll be zooming like a Mazda. Zoom, zoom. Anybody for the Mazda jokes? Oh good, there's less than 30. That extra back tank, so nice. They needed that upgrade in the first game. I, I saw Leviathan was playing a little bit of Slime Rancher 1, and he modded in extra back tank slots. But, oh, that is so nice. They should have double auto feeders too. And then they should code in that slimes will go for their favorite food. You could, I guess, have multiple slimes in a, in a corral, but you wouldn't want to. If you had multiple slimes in a corral, they'd turn into, um, whatever it's called. The, the tars. <laughs> you remember when Mazda was like, zoom, 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 or zoom, zoom? And then, after a while, they remarketed it as like the ASMR Mazda, and their, their saying was literally a girl whispering, zoom, zoom. And that was their, like, new marketing thing. I remember that, man. How do we only have 9,000 money? We had 9,000 money before we started doing this, and now we only have 9,000 money. It's kind of strange. Oh, I just stomped on a chicken, my bad. We're just doing chores all night out here. That's just, that's our life now. Anyways, Mazda was really early to the ASMR game. I wish you could customize which corner you put this on. Like, you could go into builder mode and, like, turn, turn, to, like, pick this up and put it, like, on this side because this is where the planter is, so that's where I'd like it. And then I put this on the other side because that's where the sales in and the, the research link, the refinery link are. And it's just, that's just not how it works. Not how it works. Speed is gonna get. Ban on YouTube. He already has two strikes. Wait, who's speed? I don't even know. I feel like I'm so out of the loop with YouTube and with Twitch communities. I just don't know anymore. Okay, 11,000. Not bad. Not bad. We've taken care of all of our slimes now. So let's sleep until morning. Oh, I love it. The slime bug is so cool. You know what would be amazing? 
a Beatrix cosplay like this with the back tank and everything. That would be such a great cosplay. Oh, I tried to click and drag to see if you could rotate her avatar. But I mean, like, this would be an amazing, amazing cosplay. And everything would be so easy to fabric. Well, I mean, not easy to do, right? But there's like some really, um, there's some really hard things to cosplay. And then I feel like with clothing, it's pretty standard clothing. So there's a singular hair in your throat. It's making you sneeze. That's the worst. If you have sexual content with doctor, um, you, or inappropriate stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, YouTube I feel like is pretty good with removing sexual content, because I haven't seen a lot of it blow up. Actually, I don't think I've seen any, aside from like terrible music videos that are over-sexualized and yet YouTube doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Um, like, I don't know of a lot of like sexual content channels on youtube you know don't link them i don't want to know uh yeah interesting okay we have enough money and we have five more minutes so what i would like to do is i would like to see what this area looks like well then i sure haven't gone on youtube shorts well youtube shorts is a rip of tiktok and tiktok is over sexualized a lot so i'm not surprised Especially the comments. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised that it makes it on there. Oh, the tide pools. Okay, just in time for us to go explore the, the tide pool areas. The comments aren't the videos, that's true. The comments is part of the community. And I think YouTube is, is pretty good about censoring. I haven't even encountered any of that in the comments either, so... Wait, there's resources literally in our base? That's cool. I wonder if there's a, gonna be a sand one, too. I wonder if we can set- oh, there's the GG log. Oh, we could have so many puddle slimes down here. I mean, probably not more than four, because that's kind of when they get shy. This is so cool, though. I was wondering if there was going to be a little sand thing, but I haven't seen one. Having 200 energy is really nice, too. Oh, we could totally fly over there with that little intermediate one. We can totally fly out there, too. I don't know if we will, but we probably could. I just love the mobility that the jetpack gives you. We're so mobile now. We can go almost anywhere we want. All right, let's see what this guy's got to say. I used to be afraid of the water. Felt like it was endless and would just swallow you up. Uh, Subnautica, anybody? I was only ever willing to dip my feet in the shallows where I could see the bottom, see the extent of it. And now, what would you even call what I plunged into? Water is so deep, so endless, that I may never see the surface again. I'm feeling sorry for myself again, I should get back to work. Oh, someone came out here to escape, like, bad life decisions that they made. That's so sad. That's so sad. Well, we got five more plots out here if we need them. But yeah. Wait, no, don't. No. There's a virus going around YouTube shorts. They put, wow, I love your videos. And you're assuming if you click on it, you get some virus. Yeah, don't, don't click the link. Nobody click the link. Don't do it. Don't put the link. Yeah, come on, what are you doing, IE? You're out here posting virus links? Nah, I, I get it. It's hard to explain something without, like, posting it. Like, hey, you know that thing? And then I'm like, nah, I don't know, what do you mean? And you're like, well, I don't want to post the thing, but like, you know, it, I can't really like just tell you about it if I don't post the thing. I was kind of scanning to see if there are any other resources around here, but I don't think there are. So tomorrow, what's the plan for tomorrow on the stream? I think the plan is going to be, we don't want to have to deal with the Gordos on the other side. Well, the Boom Gordo, maybe. We might pick up, let me see what the, the chickens are for the Boom Gordos. Favorite briar hens. So we might go pick up all the briar hens in that area and try to try to pop that boom gordo. Um, because there was something behind him that was it was different than the tabby gordo just had a teleporter for convenience. I would like to figure out what's behind the boom gordo and then I, I want to explore the other island. Well, that does it for today's episode. So thank you all for coming on by. If you're on YouTube, again, please 
like and subscribe. Comment down below what you're thinking of the series so far. It's one or two clicks for you. It really does help me out a ton. Hopefully, IE can get the hair out of his throat by the time the next episode goes up. And as always, hopefully you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.